Hey guys, we are back with uh, the finale of Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm gonna try and get out of the way of the lasers, but I can't because I fail miserably. Now, what the cheap trick that I was talking about is this right here. You come up to Ansem. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Oh no, this is a bad attack. This is a bad attack. Fly away. When he says darkness, fly away. Um, yeah, he'll suck you in, and you're gonna get sucked in no matter what, unless you start flying away immediately. Yeah, we're, see, we're getting hit right now. We're getting hit again. I don't want to get hit again. There we go. Uh, if you attract Goofy over here, and you have Tornado equipped, he will actually do a really cool attack. Oh. Dick. Now, with the turn, or whatever attack he just did, my MP is going down. That's not a good thing at all. I want Goofy to do Tornado, damn it. Come on, Goofy, come on, Goofy, come on, Goofy. Tornado, Goofy! Do it! Stop hitting him, do Tornado. Just empty gift instead. Alright, whatever. Um, Goofy can attack with Tornado. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Alright. Look, right there, right there! Goofy does a lot of damage, and you can pretty much just not even fight Ansem if you want. You can just, like, Goofy do whatever he wants. The only reason I'm fleeing is because he said Darkness. And when he says darkness, you get the hell away. Donald will heal intermittently, so he'll, he'll heal Goofy now, and then he'll heal himself. And then he'll heal Goofy, and then he'll heal himself. But, um, yeah, the Goofy Tornado thing, if you're afraid of dying on this fight, which you really shouldn't be, then, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta heal first. Oh, baby! Yeah, if you're afraid of dying and you don't want to do the whole boss fight over again, I don't blame you whatsoever, so... That's a good tactic to have that Goofy will uh, do for you. But yeah, come Guardian, sapping away your MP, so I'm gonna heal. So yeah! I re up on my arrow. And I'm not even bothered by the lasers because we almost have him dead here, guys. And that, my friends, is the game Kingdom Hearts. Arrow's still hitting him. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now, guys, it's cutscene time. Oh yeah, I should be talking. Um, well, no, because Ansem's gonna say something real soon. But I will be rating this game shortly. Probably when the credits are on. Yeah, that's a good idea. It is futile. The Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts! Fill me with the power of darkness! Uh oh. Supreme darkness. You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light. Woo! <gasps> Stop staring and keep brushing. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> I can't. Don't give up. Come on, Sora. Together we could do it. Okay.
Oh shit. Uh oh. What just happened? King Mickey. I like how the King's Keyblade is just the colors switched around. I think that's actually really cool. But I'd probably rather have the King's Keyblade because it looks cooler than uh, the first one. Just saying. Now one gripe I have about this game is that you only see the King once in that final scene. and I, just, I don't know, I feel like he could have had a bigger role. And this right here is a major problem for me. How in the holy mother of God did she get here? I just, I just don't, it's, I just don't know. It's, it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how she got there. It's, it's kind of dumb. Kind of. You get good graphics now, though, which is kind of cool. No, our girl, please, oh baby, don't go simple and clean, it's the way that you're making me feel tonight, and it's hard to let it go. Alright, enough of that, I'm not singing anymore, even though I love that song. You're getting, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, okay, um, graphics, Nine and a half. Sometimes they're a little eh at times, but for the most part, well, right now because it's CG, it's it's really good. But sometimes the graphics are really cool. Little they, they pay attention to detail, which is really awesome. Like Turnips Bro Radish mentioned this, but like whenever you hit an enemy with the Keyblade, like the little things that pop out, it just looks really cool. Like it's just little things like that that add up. Um, for the story though, I'm probably just gonna give it a nine. Like, I'm, I'm, and the reason I give it a 9 is because it, it, sometimes it can just be really corny. It's like, oh, darkness, the heart, heart's true darkness. It's like, ugh, I've, had, I've heard enough of this. Um, I think I already mentioned it. Uh, gameplay, I'd have to give it a 10. Um, just the fighting and all that stuff, it's just really awesome. And the boss battles are amazing. And all the stars are coming back that have vanished because the world's got destroyed. And that must be a fucking sight and a half. Now, the cut, or the, oh god, the ending, uh, this and that, what, what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, um, uh, the ending credits are just too long, in my opinion. Like, this, I I'm all for this, but, like, then you get to the credits, like, uh But this part is really sweet and sentimental.
Guys, this is gonna sound really gay, but when Kyrie first, like, when it panned to Kyrie and then to this, I guess got a little chill. I know that's gonna be really gay, but I mean, like, come on. That's sweet. Regardless of warnings, the future doesn't scare me at all. Nothing's left before home. Oh, no. Wrong. Genie, my man. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, I really like this game. It's a beautiful game. It's, it's really good. Overall, I'd have to give it a 9. Maybe, maybe 9, 9.5. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Mostly because that, right there, at fucking Lantica. Garbage. Just gar it, it, The game would have been so much better without it. I'm sorry, but it's true. And you know it. The level sucked. Like, I know it's Disney and The Little Mermaid was kind of a good movie, but... Fuck, man. Just, just no. Just never again. Nah. Things like before. What Regardless of warning, squall, and eris. Yeah, um, uh, not much else to really say about this game, is, except the ending credits are just way too long, so I'm gonna have to ramble about something. I guess I could talk about my next LPs, and, uh, the one that I haven't mentioned, um. Now, I know I said I was gonna do Metroid Zero Mission, but I got to thinking, and I just thought, you know, you know what would be kinda cool? Maybe do a game that I've actually never beaten. Um, now, the game that I had in mind, I don't personally own, but my really good friend uh, let me borrow it. And, um, boy, I can't wait to LP it. Uh, I, I got to one part, probably about like three-fourths of the way through the game. But other than that, I've never, never, never beaten it. So, um... Uh, the game's Luigi's Mansion. It was a launch title for the GameCube. And now that the kick in music is uh, over, we get pretty cool music, I have to say. But, like, I don't know. It's, it, this goes on way too long. You get little animations, which are really cool instead of just, like, still images. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. It could have It could have been shorter. It really could have. Well, now all the worlds are, uh, back in order. <laughs> Cloud! How you doing, friend? Aren't you supposed to be dead, Eris? And Pinocchio's a real boy. One funny thing I actually did, I was playing this, uh, I think by myself, and it's funny to myself because it's, it's just stupid. Anyway, when you see Pinocchio... As like a real boy, he's like, oh, I'm a real boy! And I, I just said, I'm like, oh, Pinocchio, you're finally a real boy! And then I just shot the game, I'm like, uh oh! I don't know, I thought it was just really funny to myself. Anyway, you got Wakus, wow, Wakus, Waka, Titus, and Selfie playing on the beach like little kids are supposed to. And you got Belle and some of the princess, Ho White and Cinderella and Assless, and that's it, because no one else likes to do the princesses. Movies. Hideki Mizoguchi. <laughs> Gucci. Um, yeah, also Fire Emblem. That is my favorite Game Boy Advance game, as I've mentioned before, and why do you do this to me, Carter? Why? Why? No. Okay, that's better. Uh, yeah, Fire Emblem is my favorite Game Boy Advance game. It's. In all honesty, I'd say. Well, this is a really biased opinion, but I'd say it's borderline perfect because like the battle animation just looks so sweet and um I'm sorry the battle animation looks really cool the character development is just spot on the bosses they start out easy and then they're just like oh what's that you thought the game was too easy well think again little kid 
So, yeah. this It's just a really good game, and I know you guys are going to like it. Uh, what else we got going on? Um, God, why can't you... Uh, Pokemon 1 Pokemon Challenge. Pokemon Red, I should say. Uh, Pokemon Red was actually... Well, it's the first video game I actually remember playing. When I was little, my dad bought an NES, but, you know... David Gallagher, what a guy, what a guy. Sephiroth is actually done by Lance Bass, and if you don't know who that is, he was in NSYNC. Yeah, crazy, I know. He actually does a really good job from being in a boy band. Gilbert Gottfried, my man, original voice actor of Yaga. And uh, James Woods, original voice actor of uh, Hades. Uh, what was I, I was, I was talking about something. Oh yeah, Pokemon Red. Um, my dad bought an NES when I was really young, but of course, I was probably like two or three, so I didn't know what I was doing. I remember having like a Sesame Street game, and obviously Mario and Duck Hunt. Um, but Pokemon Red I got when I was seven. I was over at my grandparents' house, and you know, I was still believing in Santa. I mean, Santa was, was, I was a really good boy, so Santa gave me some damn good presents. And I got a green Game Boy Color along with Pokemon Red version and oh man I was fucking in love with that game like for the rest of the time over my grandparents house I that's all I did I played I played and played and played of course I had dinner over there too and I just I loved it I just it was I was so like I was captured by it. I'm like oh man this game's awesome and you know the graphics aren't that great because it's first gen but Ooh, man, for the time, it was like, whoa. Ned Loft, U.S. voice director and casting director. Good job, Ned. Yeah, uh, I really can't wait to get farther on into Fire Emblem and the One Pokemon Challenge, because uh, the for Pokemon Red, it's going to get really tough. Especially the Elite Four, that's going to... Oh, man, that's going to have to do a lot of grinding, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how high level I'll be, but... Anyway, Fire Emblem, man, it's... <sighs> Jesus, there's just so much to do in that game. I mean, for a strategy game, at first I thought it was going to be like, uh, move units and then they attack, but it's it's really something else. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we're almost done, we're almost done. We get to see Square Soft, and this can't hurry up soon enough. There's just one more thing you show after this. Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. There should be one more thing to show. Or better. Yeah, here we go. So I'm just, I'm just going to shut up now. We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Huh? Ah. Pluto? Hey, Pluto! Where have you been? Huh? Hey! Gosh, that's the king's seal! Hey! Have you seen King Mickey? <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Guys, let's go. <laughs> Goofy runs like an idiot. <laughs> I want to know where this is. Like, where, where the f is it? What world? What planet? What? What's going on? Whoa, that's a long road. Remember, Sora, you are the one who will open the door to light. Well, guys. That was Kingdom Hearts in almost all of its entirety. There are two optional boss fights, which, upon further thought, I don't think I'll be doing. I'm really sorry if you were looking forward to that, but... Oh, yes, music. And I think we get some results. 
possibly could be wrong. But anyway, um, we have Sephiroth to fight and one more torn page to uh, complete. Uh, oh, here, phone fell out. Uh, I don't want to make this video too much longer, so yeah, we're not getting anything when I press any button. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It really means a lot. This game, it's it's really it's a really good game. If you've never played it, I suggest you do. Even though you pretty much saw me play it, um, I I oh, it's a, it's it's definitely a PS2 must. Um. Well, guys, uh, that's it for Kingdom Hearts for now. I'll be back with more episodes, but that'll be later on. So I will see you guys next time.